When you do airborne videos or airborne photographs, airframe vibration can be a major problem. In electric airplanes, there's usually very little vibration if the propeller is well balanced. But on nitro-powered and gasoline-powered aeroplanes, vibration is a huge issue. I have experimented with various types of vibration reduction camera mounts. As far as I can figure out, there seems to be three basic rules. Principle number one. Isolate the camera mount from the airframe itself. I use a little piece of foam to uh, absorb any vibrations from the airframe from reaching the camera mount itself. Rule number two is to reduce any vibrations that reach the mount from reaching the camera. Once again I use foam between the camera mount and the camera. So you have one layer of foam here and a second layer of foam here. The third rule is a little more complex. You would like a way to attach your camera mount to the aircraft that is secure but not rigid. What do I mean with secure? If it is not secured well enough then wind buffeting is going to move your camera mount and high g-forces can also move the camera mount. So you have to mount it in a way that wind buffeting and g-forces will not move the camera but vibration cannot reach the mount. There are a few ways that I have found successful. For example, this is a small mount that I made for a keychain camera. The mount is made with a wire mesh. There's a small layer of uh, foam underneath the camera and over top of that the camera is secured with elastic bands. So it's unlikely that any vibration is going to reach the body of the camera itself. To attach the camera mount to the airframe I use elastic bands with a tiny little wire hook on each end. The amount of elastic band, uh, number of elastic bands and the amount of tension can be adjusted easily by adding or removing some of these elastic bands. For example, I can attach this to the wing, the elastic goes around the wing and attaches to the back of the wire frame. This way the camera mount is securely attached but not so rigid that vibration is going to reach the camera. A second slightly more elaborate way of attaching the camera mount is the following one. The mount itself has two little boxes on each side. They are lined with foam. Inside is a thin plate of aluminum with a hole drilled through it and through that hole a thick gauge fishing line is suspended. So the aluminum sits in the foam and the fishing line goes through the middle and exits the back of the camera but it exits inside foam so there is no rigid attachment or touch between the thick gauge fishing line and the camera mount at all. I slip a little piece of uh, silicone tubing over the fishing line to give it a, f a little bit more uh, suspension. Then the thick gauge fishing line is pushed through the side of the airframe and over here as well and on the inside I put elastic through the two loops to secure the camera to the side of the aircraft. Once again you can vary the amount of elastic bands here to make it more or less secure. I use the same principle to secure my latest GoPro mount. Once again thick gauge uh, fishing line runs from three attachment points. Uh, the fishing line is inside silicone tubing and there are three holes on the side of the aircraft through which these three lines go. Then on the inside I use elastic bands to secure them. These little metal hooks are removable so that the fishing line can easily go through the side of the airframe and then the hooks are attached on the inside. Here you can see the GoPro mounted in the anti-vibration mount on the side of the Hobbyco Hobbystar aircraft. When viewed from this angle, it is easy to see the triangular foam insert that sits behind the upper part of the camera. I have a few of these different triangular pieces of foam so that it is easy for me to change that camera angle by just changing the piece of foam. I have experimented with various different types of foam. The really soft open cell type of foam such as this can be compressed very easily and uh, although it does absorb vibration it tends to compress too much to be of any real value. This type here is a sort of a closed cell foam. It doesn't compress much. In fact you have to 
press on it really hard to get it to compress. You don't need a lot of this stuff, you know, only a thin layer will actually absorb a lot of vibration. And I prefer to use this type of uh, foam. It has a rubbery type of feel to it. I'm not sure what it's called or where to buy it. But it is fairly commonly available as packaging material, especially in, especially in electronic devices. Here you see four of my more successful attempts at making a vibration reduction mount. The one on the top left is for a keychain camera. Uh, this one here is an older attempt at a waterproof mount, which works really well. And uh, it had a servo inside to uh, depress the shutter button. This is just a standard off-the-shelf uh, little digital camera. This one here is a similar concept, but it's not waterproof, substantially lighter. And here is my favorite current one, the GoPro camera. Let's look at this one in more detail. Here you can see the uh, basic uh, pieces of my GoPro anti-vibration mount. The back piece is a little wire basket. This is wire mesh or chicken wire available at any hardware store or sort of green uh, landscaping store. Um, a thin piece of rubber-like closed cell foam lines the back of the mount. Then there's a, a thicker piece with a recess cut into it for the camera to sit in that lines the inside of the basket. When the camera is in the mount, it sits at a bit of an angle. And that angle can be determined, as you can see there's a little gap there. The angle at which the camera is mounted can be changed by varying the little foam wedge that goes on top here. I've cut a few of these wedges, so I can vary the angle from fairly straight to where the camera looks fairly far down, like that. Okay. Now the uh, front plate is also just a piece of wire mesh that I cut out in the places where the control buttons are. It fits over the camera like that and is then secured uh, with elastic bands to the rest of the camera mount. When the camera is positioned in the mount, the front of the mount is secured to the back with elastic. Once again, you can vary the amount and tension and thickness of the elastic as you want to. But this actually needs to be a fairly firm uh, attachment. Any vibration that does reach the back plate here is not likely to be transmitted to the front of the camera because the uh, elastic bands will absorb that. Now, I've tested this camera mount and all the others actually in action many times and uh, the following video will give you an idea of how well this little mount works. On the video you may see uh, little parts of the aircraft vibrate, but the video itself is actually rock solid. As you can see, it's actually quite easy to make a camera uh, mount that will reduce most of the vib vibrations even from a nitro-powered or gasoline-powered airframe and greatly increase the quality of the video that you can produce. Have fun and happy flying!